Good day. I'm Nick Bedini. Today, we're building a vacuum kit. This vacuum kit has two chambers. The high pressure chamber and the low pressure chamber. Also known as a vacuum. The difference in pressures causes a great amount of energy, which can be used to propel our projectile, also known as a ping pong ball, at a very high speed. If we can create a big enough difference in pressure using enough layers of foil so they don't break as easily, we can propel our projectile past Mach 1. That's supersonic. We can use gauges to measure the PSI and the pressurise in the vacuum chamber. We can then use that ratio and compare it to the speed of the projectile to figure out how the difference in particles affects the speed of a projectile in a vacuum cannon. Time for the real science. Okay, mate. Slip, slip. Two sheets of foil. You're talking the background, so everyone's here. Hey, Bedina, what's going on? Uh, loading it for four sheets. Could be, uh, be good. Two thirty-three. Six hours till school starts. Oh, good day. Now you've seen our vacuum cannon fire. Time to do some math. By using two microphones, we are able to measure how fast the ball travelled five feet. The slowest ball took nine thousandths of a second, and the quickest took four point six thousandths of a second. We then calculated how fast this would be in miles per hour and found that the quickest ball went 741 miles per hour which is 20 miles per hour away from being uh, from breaking the sound barrier. We then calculated the number of particles in the vacuum and pressure chambers. For the vacuum chamber, our pump maxed out at 26 psi below atmospheric pressure so we are able to use that as a constant in the calculations. To calculate the number of particles in the pressurized chamber, we use the equation PV over NT. We plugged in our pressures from each test to find the number of moles in each test, I guess. For tests at two sheets, we had a pressure of around 14 psi above atmospheric pressure. For test with three sheets of foil, we had pressures around 29 psi. For four sheets of foil, we had staggering pressures of 43 and a half psi. Break it!
536 and we're done.